see you. Here we are, another big comedy night, enjoying your food in the front row. There we go, let's pump some energy into this. Let's get going, I didn't do my hair for nothing. <laughs> Watching the news, it's the most awful thing you can do to yourself in a day, isn't it? It's always the worst. Even good news on the news is bad. Bad news. And you'll hear something like, Dave won $65 million in the lottery. You know what? Screw Dave. Give me his address. That's real news. You go looking for my cut, you know? I wish, I, I can't even watch the TV I want to watch anymore. I got a four-year-old girl, you know what I'd say? My house is always treehouse. Treehouse at my house, always. Toopy toopy, bee doo bee doo. Toopy toopy, bee doo bee doo. That show makes me wish I had a car and a garage that wouldn't open. <laughs> Girlfriend's like, Rob, are you gonna stick around and watch 2 b No, I'm out to the bathtub and toaster store, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got to get out of here. Well, maybe I'm in a bad mood. That's no way to come to a comedy show. Don't come to a comedy show in a bad mood looking to be cheered up. <laughs> There's one thing I can say to you as audience, but stop it. People come with baggage to comedy shows expecting to be just cheered up and it's a bad idea. <laughs> we feed on your energy. <laughs> People are sitting around their house like, oh no, my dad died and you know, this is really bad, you're gonna get by your car. Maybe if I just go to a comedy show tonight, <laughs> I'll get cheered up. And then you come and sit in the front row. Your eyes are all glassy. And the comedian smells blood. And then launches into a joke. So, so a car walks into a bar and hits some woman's father. Ready to go? <laughs> we need to be cheered up. We need to be cheered up. And I, and I think it's coming, it's right around the corner. For me, my cheering up's coming right away. The Olympics are coming up. The Olympics, the Winter Olympics. Okay, that's exciting for Canadians because we're going to win stuff. <laughs> we're going to win things. It's going to happen. Summer Olympics, just a bunch of Canadians standing around going, let's say freeze that pool. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> right? I mean, the Winter Olympics, we clean up. And, and I just, I think it's because, it's because nobody does steroids in the Winter Olympics. No one, no one cares enough about the Winter Olympics to cheat. So you win the bobsled. Great, now you're the world's fastest tobogganer. You know what I mean? No one, no one cares. The Summer Olympics, there's always five guys on roids and a chick with nuts every time. Every time. And it's baffling to us. You read and you're, how did they not? There's doctors that are trained to find banned substances in a bloodstream at microscopic levels, but you can't see a pair of grapes, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> really? She's 6'9", her name's Herman. <laughs> She's tomahawk dunking on chicks, you know? <laughs> look, look at the wrist and the Adam's apple on that drive. <laughs> You don't need a doctorate. <laughs> I, you know, and I gotta say this, I'm, 
but half steroid use, I, I'm a fan of people that do steroids and then do sporting events and excel. <laughs> because as a professional athlete, to me, you're an entertainer. You're here to entertain me. Okay, you get paid $10 million a season. I want you to exceed my expectations on a daily basis. Do the steroids. <laughs> I don't want to see you mail it in. You know what I mean? I want, I want to build new athletes. Just big cave trolls. Just big... Just troglodytes dragging, you know? And sports baseball needs steroids. It needs it. Without, without steroids, baseball is cricket with a mint. So boring. So I want to see a guy get two needles in his ass on the way out of the dugout. Drag his bat to home plate, right? It's just, just a club with a nail in it. This pituary mongoloid standing at the plate digging in two needles. And... Crushes the leather off the ball, you know what I mean? Picks up the catcher. Yeah! And never stop watching baseball again, you know? For the Olympics, and always the Summer Olympics, right? It's this, it's the it's the hundred meter dash that gets your blood pumping, right? Everything you discus and shot put, you just, you just you just okay. Hundred meters coming up. We gotta get through this and then the hundred meters coming up. And you wanna see everybody wants to watch how fast humans can move. That's that's the best part. But I say do roids, let let them off the chain. <laughs> Let them just do it all willy-nilly, get freaked out. Two years ahead and go, hey, do the roids, do all the roids you can. Right, and these guys are just... <laughs> and we build new athletes, and we're going to have to make the track wider, put a rabbit on the fence or something, you know? <laughs> the guys are going to spook getting into the blocks. It's right, oh, yeah, yeah. Give him the mint and pet him. Just go, all right, calm down, pups. Calm down, pups. You settle them all down. You settle them all down, and, and, and then the gun goes off. You know, doesn't a guy want to see how fast a human being can move before people start fucking losing body parts, you know? I want to see a guy come out of his cleats, not even touch track for 10 meters. Just, Hit the ground running sideways like a Wolverine. <laughs> Pulling away from the field. Other racers bite at him like, ah! <laughs> Crosses the line like six seconds. Trainers come out and taser him. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a piece of meat at him back up, push him in the cage. And the Ireland wins the gold medal. <laughs> For the 6.5. <laughs> Even the playing field. This year we gotta, it's Russia. We gotta go to Russia to play in the Olympics. So sad over there. It's just sad. We're Sochi. The Olympics are in Sochi. Where? <laughs> Sochi. Never heard of it. <laughs> Right? And, and you know, and the, the home country always shows up and wins a lot of stuff. They always win a lot of stuff as a home country and I, I don't I, I don't have any problem against Russians per se, just I don't want them to win anything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because you have to hear the song after after a country wins a gold medal, you gotta hear their song. And their song is so sad. <laughs> Right, that Eastern Bloc European wet blanket that just <laughs> we love potatoes. We drink potatoes. I don't want to see it. Until, until, okay. And here's the thing with Russians, I it's not like I don't, I don't dislike the, There's just such a parody. 
in the sexes, in that the, the, the females look beautiful. The female Russian athletes are stunning. Absolutely stunning. The, the, the men, <laughs> Russian men look like they should be chasing cars down the 401. <laughs> Alex Ovechkin in a ditch somewhere hanging off the neck of a caribou. Like, oh, what are you doing out here, Alex? I like hockey. Like, jumps the fence and starts running around with Farley Moe. You know? uh, I'm glad I got all that off my chest. Been feeling a little tense. It's just a competitive world out there, okay? It's just so competitive. Okay, even, I mean, everything that uh, we got in our lives, uh, all the media, everything's pointed, you, you gotta get ahead, that little extra inch you can get, you know, like, we, the reality television's the worst for it, and it's the worst invention we've ever, we've ever, we just, Survivor's the worst show, most insulting show Level. of all time, right? And we call it Survivor. Right, no one survives anything. It's a bunch of white people that go to some club med vacation spot <laughs> and they have to make friends <laughs> for a million bucks, you know what I mean? One million dollars is on the line. Show lasts 38 episodes. I, I could use a million dollars. You could use a million dollars, yeah? yeah? I guarantee you put me on an island with 15 other people for that kind of scratch, no one's waking up for episode two. <laughs> Kevin, can't wait to go fishing with you. <laughs> Later that day, down by the river. <laughs> oh, yeah.